Now, we all want to know what happened on the evening of November 21st, and I'm sure all of you have different views of that night or may remember things a little differently from one another. Different perspectives on how it all played out. Mr. Tate, the Sheriff of Maycomb. Mr. Yu, the father and protector of Miss Mayela Yu. Miss Mayela Yu, the sweet daughter of Mr. Yu, and Mr. Robinson, the accused, a black man. Black? How the hell is that man black? What do you mean? Yeah, he's black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, have you seen it? Yeah. That's black. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me right now? Like, you have to be clowning. That is the blackest man I've seen in my life. Someone please tell me I'm not going crazy, man. You know what, Mr. Tate? I'd love to hear your account of the event first, if that'd be okay with you. Of course, of course. Great. So, Mr. Tate, in your own words with your own eyes, what happened the night Mayella was found hurt? Well. It was a night on November 21st. I was just leaving my office to go home when Mr. Yule came in. Very excited he was, and said, Partner, get out to my house quick. Someone just raped my girl. <laughs> Mayella, who hurt you? <laughs> Where is he? Causing trouble, Tom. Causing trouble yourself, Sheriff. Heh, <laughs> Tom, you of all people know this town ain't big enough for your trouble making bad eggs like yourself. As a sheriff, I have to protect my people. Turn yourself in before I make you bite the ground, will ya? Sheriff, you say Mayella was mighty banged up, but in what way? She was pretty bruised up when I got there. She had a black eye coming. Which eye? Her left. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Was it her left facing you, or her left looking the same way you were? Oh yes, that'd make it her right. Mr. Yu, you're up next. With pleasure. Night of whatever it was, I was just coming out of the woods, and then I heard my daughter screaming. I had to protect her family, because there's nothing in this world that's more important than her family. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Get your dirty hands off her. Make me old man. He gave me one last punch and ran away, which admittedly made me feel a bit dizzy. What are you doing? Testing if you still feel dizzy. Why? You could have gotten some sort of damage in the head. Now write your name down on this piece of paper. Mela, can you share your story? Hey Mela, what are you waiting to do tonight? Hey, what's gotten you so damn? It's just that, uh, it's always nothing to do. My dad always has a stick in the house. It's no fun. Someone say, fun? <laughs> Stand right here, just like that. Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> 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 my 
Dolly. Uh oh. Share your version of the night. <laughs> I remember walking past the evil house and having me out of Where's the other chilling? They all went to town to get ice cream. Took me slappy years to save them nickels. But they're all gone now. That's, that's right, smart of you to treat them. You think so? Sure, uh, I'd best be going now. <laughs> Can you step in that chair and order here? Guess it's supposed to toss the sugar room? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Damn whore! I'll kill ya! I ran as fast as I could, Mr. Lynch. And if you were a black man like me, you'd be scared too. <laughs> you really believe what he's saying? It's bullcrap! Alright? Tell them the truth. You want the truth, Mr. Yule? I need the truth. Here's the truth for you. In all the different stories I've heard, Thomas had a short and left arm. Okay. Everyone, except you and your daughters. How can Mr. Robinson possibly punch and choke your daughter with just his right arm? I mean, I'm looking at him right now and I'm thinking that's impossible. You want the truth, Mr. Yule? I may not have been there that night, but I've heard each and every one of your perspectives. Here's what I think really happened that evening. Tom is walking home from work when Manila calls him for help. Tom, being the gentleman he is, enters your home and does whatever your daughter says. He stands up on the chair to help your daughter, but suddenly gets grabbed. The not-so-innocent Manila grabs him on the hips and kisses him without consent. You see them through the window and you have to do something about it. You begin to walk through the hallway, but Tom already sees you and escapes. You're still angry, you still got some fight in you, and you need to let all that anger out. So you decide to do it on the only other person left in the house. I thought I would have raised you better. No, no, Bob, wait, don't do it. Thank you. 